crisis to an electricity crisis. New fears that AI data centers and Joe Biden's climate crusade could be straining our nation's energy grid to the point of causing an electric power shortage nationwide. The potential effects of this would be catastrophic. You talk about rolling blackouts. You're talking about supply chain disruptions, loss of communications, and an increase in vulnerability of attack by foreign actors, just to name a few. And yet, Democrats continue to wage war on America's most reliable and abundant source of energy. Republicans might sit here and tell you that renewable energy is a threat to our power grid, that it jeopardizes its security. Simply untrue. You know what threatens a grid? Dependent on fossil fuel? Climate change. Exactly. I always take my cues from her. Joining me now is Daniel Turner, founder and uh, executive. What's up, guys? John here. We've all seen the infamous video, the Francis Scott Key Bridge being taken down by a vessel. Major collapse of a bridge in Maryland. Francis Scott Key Bridge plunging into the water overnight after it was hit by a cargo container ship. And this bridge, as it comes down, opinions of millions of Americans are formed about what really happened, what should have happened, all of the problems that are going to be coming to America, you know, due to this. But what they don't realize is that this one scenario is combined with many other scenarios at the same exact time. For example, the Red Sea is being stopped right now. The Suez Canal, the Panama Canal, global trade, we're talking 30 plus percent of global trade right now is being disrupted at the same exact time. Let's so you have to ask yourself, well, what happens Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Frank Shad Pearson. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Praise God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. I said we're in a fix. I said it appears we're in a fix globally. Globally. It's a setup, people. If there's ever, if there's ever a time I understand Revelation 13, not being able to buy or sell without the mark, I definitely understand it now, without a doubt. I've said this before in other videos, I always wonder how it was going to transpire, how it was going to come about. We're seeing it. And don't think it's by accident. Don't think it's not by design because it is. It is all by design to take us down. The powers are doing, it's easy to say the powers, but people look. I've been watching this thing for 45 plus years. They're working their plan. You saw the other day you had Barack Obama and President Biden, former President uh, Clinton, all in New York. I added up their ages. I took uh, Clinton, who was 77 years old, Barack Obama, 62, and good old Joe, 81. I believe the number I came up with, the combined number, is 220 years. Think about it. The combined age of those three men is 2-2-0. That ain't no accident, baby. Read the numbers. What is 2-2? I showed you before. I pet goat. I, I pet goat too. The forehead of Barack Obama has a V in it and he's sweating it. Keyword sweating. Because he knows something is about to transpire. He knows that cartoon that wasn't made just for entertainment. I'm talking about devils, baby. They got to talk. And they talk from their very nature. 
So as we see trains derail last few years, cargo trips into bridges, Suez Canal, the Red Sea. <laughs> Come on, man. Not only is America being set up, the whole world's being set up. It's a global takedown to make sure you stay in your 15 minute city. So when I say you came by a sale, you don't have too much alternative. And you see what happened a year plus ago over in Canada. Good old Mr. Trudeau. He uh, went into the, what? Computer. It's morning, so give me a break. He stopped the truckers from getting their money, right? He blocked their money, didn't he? Wasn't that an introduction to how, how it will be in the future with the Antichrist? Put in the comment section, you remember that. Justin Trudeau, when the truckers went on strike or did something over there in Canada, he went to their bank account and blocked them. No money, no money, no money, no money. They evil, baby. Yeah. Freedom of speech, it's a wrap. It's a wrap all day. Power's got a plan. Always have a plan. They've been patient with it. It might be fitting. Where I'm, where I'm at, I've taken a picture of this before. I just happened to stop in front of this building. That's what it has on it. The owl. I did a few videos this week. <laughs> Again, I think that's fitting. Who is the owl, Pearson? The Bohemian Grove, the, uh, the secret society group, quote unquote, allegedly, that meets once a year where former presidents Richard Milhouse Nixon and the actor Ronald Reagan from California. Many people say that Donald Trump is a spinoff of Ronald Reagan. Hollywoodish. This is what is out there for us to choose from. But we have global we have a global correction and that's putting it lightly but that's an economic term a manipulated correction a global one this time a takedown to get you to be subservient what did John say in his video just now all this demand but scarcity on products. I got a book that talks about scarce, scarcity. I think the book is over 40 years old. It predicted this time that the world would be in a state of scarcity. This one author, he knew the plan. He knew the plan was to build up these countries, these nations, and eventually overthrow them gradually, in part through scarcity talk about having a civil war make it so that people can't eat put people in fear they'll turn on each other it sounds like the movie uh, that Barack Obama consulted in leave the world behind Literally. That's where we at. I mean, how how evil, how evil it is to just become diametrically opposed to everything that God wanted for us. You know, it takes a while economically for things to ripple into the economy. I don't want to get in trouble by saying a certain word, but 
there's this push that they've been having globally ever since uh, Al Gore lost to George Bush Jr. The C word, climate, you fill in the blank, CC. A global plan between him and King Charles, they've been pushing that thing for decades. Climate, you know what? Just like when President Biden came to Wisconsin and closed that pipeline in the name of climate. This is how they do it, baby. We all go along and we don't, we don't challenge it. That is enough of us don't. Because they have enough politicians in their back pocket. They have enough resources to threaten. I admire this guy from Louisiana back in the day. Look him up, Huey Long. Huey Long, Louisiana. I want to say he was what congressman didn't, didn't turn governor. Like I said it's early. But he was a politician, Huey Long. He stood up to the powers back in the day. He paid for it. In the capital of Louisiana, there's still bullet holes in the pillars. I said, in the capital building of Louisiana, there are still bullet holes lodged in the, uh, in the pillars in Louisiana. Was Huey Long a duelist? Arguably, yeah. But he loved America. And he stood up to the powers and again he paid for it. It was a military guy also back in the day. Uh, can't think of his name. Hopefully it will come to me. Let me turn my heat, turn my heat down. Uh, Smedley Butler. Thank you, Lord, for, for the memory. Thank you, Jesus. Smedley Butler. Army service man. Look them both up. See what they did. They both had that in, in common. They loved America. They kept the hope and the spirit of America alive through their, through their actions. Smedley Butler was asked by the powers to take over Washington, D.C. with, I think it was with 500,000 troops, whatever. He played the game for a while to see what they were, wanted to do. Then once he got their trust, he turned on them. He went to Washington, D.C., went to Congress, and he told Congress what they were doing. Nobody went to jail. You gotta check it out. Smedley Butler, American hero. Uh, I forgot his ranking status, so don't email me criticizing. I don't know his ranking. I've read it. Don't split hairs with me, people. Just get the lesson, please. The lesson is that there was a decorated soldier, colonel, captain, high-ranking official who loved America, just like me and others do. And um, he was asked by the powers to take over the country. They tried to sell him a lie. He turned on them. And again, nothing happened to these Fortune 500 companies who went to him. You think the companies of the world are not in bed with the politicians? Think again. Now it's global. It's global. They've always had a plan, even with the banking system. I believe it was, it was the Rockchild who sent all three of his sons to different parts of the world so they can set up an international banking system so they can then control the world in the future. They make plans, baby. 
all these powers, all these roots, they've been to the mountain. Satan at any given time has taken men and women to that mountain, that bloodline, if you will, and make them an offering. All this I will give to you if you do this for me. And then they in, in turn sell it to their siblings. And many of the secret societies are power packed with these bloodlines who know exactly who Satan is, who know exactly what the requirements are to serve him. It's sacrifice, it's obedience, it's loyalty. It's making it miserable for you and I. It's all planned. And this global quote unquote plan to shut down the economy through disturbing our ports, which is our, our seas, our ships, our railway. Again, it sounds like leave the world behind. It's all planned. And they know ain't nothing in their way. Nothing significant other than Jesus. But they've been working on the biology. Hope I don't get in trouble with that. There's certain words I can't say, but they've been working on the the makeup of man for decades. So we can't fight back, or enough of us don't fight back. Or enough of us are in La La Land that we don't fight back. What do I, what do I mean? You got about 13 different chemicals that make up potato chips. <laughs> look at the kind of pop, look at the pop that you drink. All the pasteurized food. And when you're small, one of the first things they do is put something in you. Read between the lines. And all the way through grammar school to high school, they put something in you. So you're digesting it in every other way. And gradually over the, over the de decades, you're less like the image of God. So thus you don't retain, you don't think like he, him. You don't mirror or react the way you should to your fellow man, let alone to God. That's real talk, baby. This war been this war been global for a long time. If I change you and everything that makes you up, in time I got you. Because you'll never resist the new order that's coming. You'll never be able to diagnose the new order that's coming. You just won't. It's not in your nature. Because your nature has been disrupted. Look, I understand the plan. When he said, I want to be like the most high, Satan went to work. I said he went to work. And that's exactly what we had. Wonder why your kids rebel or your, why your kids are numb to your order. Every generation gets worse. It's what they're ingesting. It's what they've been given. They've gone to the LAB. I said, your kids have gone to the LAB. Read between the lines. And no longer is it education, it's indoctrination in school. Your kids been worked on. You've been worked on, I've been worked on. It's hard to be in the frame of mind of Christ Jesus and fulfill that scripture. Be fruitful and multiply, being fruitful and multiply isn't just physical. It's actually passing on that likeness of God. It's a war. And now they're changing it to the point now. Again, the things that we need to survive globally, whether it's uh, trying to get chips for cars or for different appliances or just get food in our refrigerator 
they're diminishing it. That's where we at. Jesus got to come. I'm almost convinced we're in the first half of the tribulation. I really do. Because things are trembling. Things are trembling. I'll be live later on today, six o'clock. After I get off work, I'll come home and get about an hour's sleep. Then I'll go live. I'll see you guys then. Six o'clock central. Right here in Chicago. You guys have a great morning, a great day. Jesus is the light of the world. Because of us, we sustain a world. And the devils don't even realize that is the secret people. They don't even realize that we maintain the earth that they occupy as well. It's enough of the light of the world to keep things going. But again, the devil's trying to change this, this structure so that God's will can be done on earth as it is in heaven. The Bible says in the book of Genesis, darkness was upon the face of the deep. Was that a spirit? I theorize that Satan wants to go back to that darkness so he can operate. Thus, that's why he's changing us. The more he changes us, the less effective God is, the less effective the Holy Spirit is, and the more Satan can work his will. It makes so much sense. So if you wonder why we're under attack, railway, think about it. I learned a lot from watching October 7th, 2023, when Hamas hit Israel. They hit them from land, sea, and air. Land, sea, and air. All the gods. A god from the air. A god from, a god from the sea. And a god on this land. It's deep, y'all. I said it's deep. You guys have a great morning. And again, I'll be live today. Today. 6 a.m. Central. God bless you. Hug your children. Hug your family. Get along, please. Get along. When you get along, the Bible says what? Two or three gathered together in his midst. He'll be in the midst, right? He'll be there. So please get along. Get over your differences. He's coming soon. We gotta, we gotta battle against ourselves and mish and be one for his glory. God bless you. Have a good day.